engineer 775 here wanting to uh, continue our Ram Pelton power project. We're going to try to run this Pelton wheel with the uh, Ram pump and this is a complements of Langston's alternative power. Spencer Langston at Langston's alternative power. His uh, YouTube channel is featured on the right side on my main page if you want to check him out. He's, a, he's been working with hydro systems for a long time and he's very good at designing uh, systems to match your power um, inputs, water flow, uh, so he does um, a lot of uh, hydroelectric designs, micro hydro design, and he's developed some pretty cool systems. So um, anyway, this is a, a shout out to him, his channel, his work, and we put our heads together on this Ram Pelton. This is just a fun project. We're going to find out hopefully today how much power we can make. So I'm going to turn this over and show you the, you put an alternator on it. Now based on my um, data and how, what pressure and size nozzle I can sustain 24-7, we, he built this um, alternator and had to remove some magnets and, and basically uh, um, make it so that the Pelton wheel would spin with the pressure and low flow that I have. So he also added a uh, basically a step up transformer box for me that goes to a bridge rectifier so we can get DC. The goal, the end goal here is to monitor and charge um, a 48 volt battery bank. And that's what we're, we're set up to do. So we're just about ready. Just wanted to show you some of the components before we took it down to the ram pump. So we're going to see if we can turn, spin this thing up today. So it's kind of cool, exciting for us to uh, see if we can make some electricity off of a ram pump direct. And I've never seen that done, at least with a Pelton wheel. So we're going we're gonna to give it a try today. We're, I'm calling it the ram Pelton and we'll see what kind of power she'll produce. It won't be much, but it is 24-7, 365, so it'll add up. Okay, this is not the permanent setup, but we're going to start to turn on and see if we can get this pelt wheel to spin. Go ahead and turn her on. That's pretty cool. Turn it on, it's all the way. Alright. So we're spinning the pelt now for the ram pump. It'll take a while before this thing gets steady state. I just opened the Alright. Let's uh let's shut her off. And go ahead and turn that other valve on. Send some water up the hill. Okay, we've got the Pelton hooked up to our ram pump, and we're probably around 55 PSI, running through a nozzle. I think the nozzle's a little big, but we're doing a test now. We're running it through a step-up transformer and then a bridge rectifier. Coming over to the Watts View system that I've showed you before, we're powering it off the grid with a 12-volt battery. And then the Watts View software is here, and we're going to basically see what we get here we're gonna go ahead and uh go ahead let's fire up i'm gonna fire up the pelt and wheel crank her on all the PSI. way what's the, what's the psi 52. 52 psi let's see what happens on our system let me go to the large readout we got 80 80 volts 16 watts 0.2 amps so uh, that's not bad. Holding right at around seven, 16 to 17 watts, running 87 volts. Well, it's it's moving around. You can see. So there's the ram making some power off of the Pelton wheel. You can hear running. You can water out the bottom. Not a lot of water. We got pretty good pressure. Now the nozzle's a little big, so I'm not able to sustain. We gotta step this nozzle down. So we've got a pressure of uh here that's dropping a little bit. I got too big a nozzle in there. But I wanted to show you that we can make power. And 
you know, I was shooting for 10, 10 watts. We might be able to get it with the other nozzle, maintain the pressure. Because we're holding here at 16.3, 15 watts. It's going to drop a little bit because that nozzle is too big. So I'm pretty confident I can make at least 10 watts off of the ram pump running 24 7. And uh, so this is fun. This is another great use for the watts view. Uh, basically data acquisition unit so we're able to read any off-grid system so now we're reading uh, this uh, alternator that the alternator is putting out from a Pelton wheel spinning with a nozzle nozzles kept clean by the filter I know it's a contraption this is a Rube Goldberg if I've ever seen one but it's a lot of fun this is a way to make power 24 7 obviously we'd have to put this in a little house a little building protect everything but we're still running, we're losing, we're down to 15 watts. Like I said, that nozzle's too big for my setup here. Um, but we're still holding pretty good voltage. Okay, be right back. Now, um, we've hooked it up to a 48 volt battery bank in the back of the Volkswagen. Again, they eventually we'll charge a golf cart. I'm getting 10 watts and 50 volts. So I am charging these batteries right now. Getting the 10 watts, but I'm not really sustaining um, it's holding okay. It's probably going to drop down here in a little bit, but we are actually charging batteries. I'm going to kind of let it go steady state. I'm going to switch back to the other panel here and see what we're doing here. Our graph, you can see it tapering off a little bit because this nozzle is a little too big. And uh, what are we reading on this white one? We want to, we need some watts in this thing so you can add watts and watt hours. What were we getting? On, oh, volts. We're just all our voltage lines. Pretty steady voltage now because we're hooked to the. You can see where we started hooking to the battery bank and started charging, and that's leveled it right out. So we are putting uh, energy into the battery. I'm going to come back to the large readouts, and we're still hanging, hanging at 10 watts and 50 volts. It's holding pretty constant. So we're actually putting some energy into a battery bank right now. So this has been, anyway, fun for me. Hope you've been following this. So we started with a pond. We dropped 10, 10 to 12 feet to a hydraulic ram pump. We pumped that water through a filter to make sure our nozzle stays clean. We're turning that alternator with a Pelton wheel, stepping up the voltage with three transformers taking that AC, each leg of it, stepping it up in voltage so we can get enough to charge the batteries. And then we run it through a bridge rectifier. And this handiwork, again, is all Langston's alternative power from the Pelton wheel and this gizmo, uh, the transformers, to get a high enough voltage. So thank you, Spencer. Check out Spencer's uh, YouTube channel when you get a chance. Check out his website. If you need any help with hydro, he's the man. He's been doing this for a long time, so I'm trying to catch up. This is a great first, uh, this is my first micro hydro system off of the RAM pump. I'm calling it the RAM Pelton. Engineer 775, signing out.